Higher contrast app icons for settings and camera are just a few of the new features found in iOS 11 Beta 5. Along with its higher contrast, the camera app icon loses the horizontal lines present on earlier editions of iOS. Inside the stock weather app, you'll notice smaller glyphs to represent weather conditions. When 3D touching a control center toggle that doesn't have a corresponding action, it reacts just like you tap the icon instead. And there's a new animated icon in the upper right hand corner of the control center media control. Simply tap that, takes you right to your output selection screen so you can choose whether you want to output to your AirPods, Apple TV, whatever the case may be. Now you'll also notice a play pause button. This allows you to quickly switch between your normal transport controls and back to your output controls. And of course you can 3D touch on that widget to go directly to your transport controls and then jump over to the output just like that. Now the playback control widget in the cover sheet has been slightly modified at the top. You have your device name, you have your song name, and then you have your artist slash album name. You'll notice a subtle change with screen recording. Instead of that blue status bar to indicate an in-progress recording, you now have a red status bar to indicate an in-progress recording. You know the tap the status bar to scroll to the top gesture that allows you to quickly get to the very top of a web page, for instance. Well, previously, when you would pull down the cover sheet, that would automatically invoke that scroll to top gesture. Thankfully, that no longer happens in Beta 5. Now, I may have mentioned this before, but now when you scroll on the widget view, the spotlight search stays persistent, so it's always available, ready for search. The iCloud Messages Sync feature, which was available in previous beta versions, has been removed. It will be placed back in iOS 11 in a future update. When using Smart Invert, the dock no longer inverts, and you'll also notice a little gray transition when enabling or disabling Smart Invert. The stock camera app's portrait mode now appears to be out of beta. To celebrate, a handy new splash screen to introduce the feature. The Emergency SOS Settings panel now gets an animation to show you how to invoke it. You know the little blue status bar that would appear anytime an app uses your location in iOS 11 beta? Well, that no longer appears in beta 5. Making an outgoing FaceTime call is now accompanied by a brand new ring. This was available on the previous beta, but now you have a leveler when taking overhead shots with the camera app. Just make sure you have the grid feature enabled in settings. There's a new splash screen for iPad users to help you learn how to switch between recent apps. And the multitasking animation has been slightly tweaked. It now looks like this. And in iOS 11 beta 5, you now need to authenticate with either Touch ID or passcode to trust a computer that you connect to. More security? It's never a bad thing. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a hands-on look at several new features in iOS 11 Beta 5. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.